right, welcome back to Blah Random Reviews. <clears throat> Ollie's here. So a lot of Marvel Legends and Marvel characters that got in. Some new ones like Speedball here. Got the Eternals, Doctor Strange stuff as always. Got Marvel Boy, which is new. Uh, Kang is back in. Ant-Man, it's kind of new. You got the What Ifs, this Rogue I haven't seen before. Karnak is back there. So a couple new Marvel figures. Cody Rhodes. Alina Bova. Zombie Scarlet Witch. It's probably the best one I thought was this Iron Man Heroes, Re Heroes Return. Actually, figure looked pretty cool. That was the only real new stuff I've seen at Ali so far. So it's early in October. And uh, the Stunt Squad is a Marvel thing, I guess. And the rest is kind of the same old stuff that's been there for quite a while. Fortnite, a couple of Mirrorverse, Mirrorverse things left over, the starting lineups. Uh, it was a hardcore thing there. It was like a pretty cool Power Rangers. Only the pink one that I've seen. Yeah, same old, same old. A few different things. Like one Titan Iron Man there, and an odd Iron Man here. I have no idea what series that is for. And then nothing really new over here except for this Rey Mysterio in the the black outfit, the black and yellow. And that's all I really saw new at Ollie so far. Next up is Best Buy. Best Buy has some cool characters, usually, but they're always way overpriced, so they're not really worth picking up, in my opinion. There's some Gundam here. Got a Crusher from TNG. Not a fan of these Gundam action figures. They look good in the box. Outside the box, not so much. Only buy those. They're super cheap, in my opinion. Got a Deadpool down here. Frankenstein Monster. Some other horror characters. TMNT Ronin. That's TMNT or Attack on Titan character here. Mondo Gecko. They got price of 50 bucks for that. Dragon Ball Z character is crazy. This is Bumblebee. This doesn't look good in my opinion. So always overpriced. They have a Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Some Hot Wheels, some more TMNT stuff. It does look pretty cool, like action figure wise. But I think it's $36. <laughs> more Monsters, the Ronin series here. The Wolfman. So, like the horror series TMNT crossover looks like. Some pretty cool Lego sets. I'm not a big Lego fan, but. That's a good looking Bumblebee, even though I'm not a fan of Lego or Bumblebee. Kind of cool looking, William Falcon, R2-D2. That's about it for uh, Best Buy. And the final store is Target, who had some very cool looking G.I. Joes. So, Snow Serpent here for Cobra. Got the blue and the white. Gear looks good. Got the red Cobra emblem. Dual sidearms. Here's who is in the, the release for these three. EO is the other Cobra. Also looks pretty cool with this gray, red, and black with the scuba gear. So I like I like the way these look with the cars, with the bright cars and the retro look. And then they had Beachhead for the G.I. Joe side. I always like Beachhead. Again, a pretty cool card. Uh, not a huge fan of the green machine gun and crossbow. Kind of doesn't look quite right. But still a cool character. So those three Joes were new, at least... New to me, I haven't seen them anywhere before, lately, or recently, I should say. And yeah, the these reaction ones, you can see the Snow Serpent uh, smaller version versus the uh, bigger version, and the lack of detail, and these terrible reaction figures. Don't buy those things, they're terrible, for the price at least. They're a dollar, sure. Uh, some Marvel stuff here and there, Spider-Man. He did have this like X-Men 97 set all together, it's kind of all right. Storm, the Mohawk, Rogue, Cyclops, Wolverine, Gambit. So as I said, that's okay, but it's still probably the price for how kind of flimsy those, those action figures feel. Hot Wheels is pretty stocked. Uh, nothing crazy. Nothing that I really wanted to pick up. I'm not a big fan of their version of these cars here. They look kind of cheap compared to like the Jada series. Uh, but they did have some Hot Wheels in there. They got the Ultra Hots and they were finally stocked up. 
But that's it for Target and this toy hunt. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Thank you.